Hey there, so today we're going to be talking about Inventor Studio inside of Autodesk Inventor. So let's get started. So you'll note that we have these two sub-assemblies. We have the tracks laid out and we also have this uh, trolley that's free to move around the workspace here. So let's go ahead and add a few constraints. Make sure that nothing moves prior to the animation. First things first, let's go ahead and add a flush constraint. Notice that it flipped my sub-assembly around. We can just simply click on the flip button and it reorients it. In my case, I will also be adding a half inch offset. Right, so this is essentially giving me a starting point. You'll see here then that it's half an inch away from that face. So next, I'll be adding a constraint to constraint the cylindrical roller with the face of the track. Now for this, I'll be using a transitional constraint. Now a transitional constraint maintains tangency between uh, typically a cylindrical face and a contiguous set of faces on another part. Right, so think of it as a, maybe a cam inside of a slot. Uh, that's where a transitional constraint would definitely come in handy and give you that correct animation. Right, so also very important is noticing which way the arrow is pointing inside of the transitional constraint. Right, if it was pointing the other way, that means that my cylindrical surface then would be tangent with the other side or opposite side of the face. Now, the way I got these arrows to appear is I just left the mouse or the arrow still for about two seconds on the face and then that option appeared there. Next, we jumped into the environments, went into Inventor Studio. Notice that if you did create some sort of parameter, you can essentially drive this animation with those parameters. In my case though, I didn't use parameters. I'm just gonna be animating the constraints that I use. Right, so let's go ahead and animate that flush constraint. Now, the reason why I'm animating the flush constraint is because again, I can give it a end value, right? In this case, starting off with half an inch, which was my starting point, and finishing with 11 inches. Now, the duration is only gonna take around five to three seconds. Right, in this case, it's gonna be three seconds. Notice too that it shows you exactly where that animation is gonna stop. Now, that's not the entire length of the track, no problem. We can always go back into our animated parameter, right click on it, edit, and increase that end value to let's say 20 inches. Run it one more time. And that's been how to animate a trolley on a track inside of Inventor Studio. Thanks for watching, guys.